Maya Tabashnikova was terrified by her old age coming because she thought that she wouldn't be able neither to work and lead an active life nor to travel anymore. But she will better explain it herself. Let's welcome Maya Saulovna. Hello, Maya Saulovna. Please have a seat with us. Tell us, please, why such a worry about age? Today I don't worry about it at all. Quite opposite. I wish everybody to live up to the age I lived up to. Will you tell us your secret? Certainly. On the 1st of May I was 77. My soul of now, I guess you have your own special method that has brought you back to happy life. I can't say that I had traumas like Victoria or Sergei Mikhailovich, but uh, when you approach a certain age, you start thinking how you can retain your usual activity, because changes occur and it's me who must help my own organism. Some years ago, I worked at a newspaper and one of my colleagues, she was sitting in an armchair and all of a sudden she couldn't straighten herself. Another colleague said, there's a medical center nearby, rush there to bring somebody for help. I rushed. There I met Matvey Sergeyevich Zvezdin. He was the head of the center at that time, a very interesting person. By the way, he is in here. Let's invite him to join our talk. Hello, Matvey. Come up to us, please. Have a seat. Would you tell us about the secrets our spine can reveal? First of all, I must confess that the spine is my main teacher, so I brought it here with me. To begin with, what does osteopathy actually do? I can say that an osteopath is neither a bone setter nor an extrasensual healer. It means that I don't set anything, I just suggest to the organism how to cope with the problem on its own. How do I do this? Perhaps you can show it on me. With pleasure. Right now, I'll conduct almost an instant test of your spine. You mean that you feel everything with your hands, don't you? I treat only with hands and very softly. I never do any brute, painful settings. Is it what or only your hands are able of, or it can be taught? Is it a gift? It's not a gift. Don't hesitate to say yes, I am such a gifted person, for it's very important to understand if other people can do this. Undoubtedly, I am very gifted and very shy as well. Now we've found the tension and it's in the circle spine. So we examine how much the mobility is confined when bending and unbending as well as when turning to the right and to the left. I conduct a technique called recoil, pressing with quick releasing of hands. And information passes to the brain that in the act of turning the vertebra to the left, in our case, a certain reaction took place, a certain trace was left. At a short date, I tell the organism, concentrate, please, do it only here and temporarily. And then, in the course of natural life, a person walks, bends, turns, and this vertebra, while passing the zone of turning to the left, in our case, gets an answer, a little more place to this side. And for some period of time, from two days up to one and a half months, depending on the patient, uh, this biomechanical and neurophysiological situation keeps working. In other words, we give an information that the organism holds and carries out. Absolutely right. I don't force the organism, but it normalizes its functioning by itself. Thank you very much for your explanations.